This week's episode is about a fan favourite bot with an eye for trophies, a head for business, and a hook for a hand. The basics is here to give you the lowdown on lockdown. Lockdown was introduced into the Transformers universe in 2008 in Transformers Animated. Neither Autobot nor Decepticon, he was a bounty hunter who worked for the highest bidder, and who took weapons and body parts as trophies from every bot he captured, integrating many of them directly into his own body to upgrade his abilities, leading to his mismatched asymmetrical appearance. Early designs for the character really lent into this concept, depicting him as a kind of Frankenstein's monster, but his final design streamlined his look to better reflect his sinister all-business personality. Conceptually, Lockdown was inspired by the Marvel Comics character Death's Head, a robotic bounty hunter who had prominently guest starred in the United Kingdom's Transformers comic back in the 1980s. Though closely associated with Transformers, Death's Head was owned by Marvel rather than by Hasbro, and Lockdown was created so that Hasbro could have a Death's Head style character of their own. As seen in the animated cartoon, Lockdown was once an Autobot, who had studied under Cyber Ninja Master Yokitron. But after bringing Shiam to Yokitron's dojo, he was banished and became a bounty hunter. For his first job, he stole the Cyber Ninja Dojo's cache of protoforms for the Decepticons, and killed his old teacher in the process. Later in the war, while working another job for the Decepticons, Lockdown clashed with the Autobot medic Ratchet and stole his EMP generator as a trophy. But when Lockdown came to Earth in the present day to collect a bounty on Optimus Prime, Ratchet settled the score and reclaimed his lost weapon. Lockdown continued to work jobs on Earth, which brought him into contact with another of Yokitron's old students, the Autobot ninja Prowl. Lockdown attempted to win Prowl over to his side by offering him a set of power-enhancing upgrades of his own. But when Prowl discovered that Lockdown was the one who had killed his teacher, he turned on the bounty hunter and defeated him using the very upgrades he had given him. Lockdown's action figure in the animated toy line reflected his fondness for upgrades. It came with Ratchet's EMP generator, which transformed into an engine for his muscle car alternate mode, and which could be removed and attached to the animated Ratchet toy. The figure was also available in transparent plastic to reflect a stealth camouflage upgrade, and retooled and recolored with a new chainsaw hand accessory that Lockdown used in the show. As one of the standout original characters created for Animated, it wasn't long before Lockdown was appearing in other Transformers series and toy lines. Most subsequent incarnations of Lockdown have kept his profession as a bounty hunter, but the animated character's fondness for upgrades and body modification hasn't really been revisited, and he's often depicted as a Decepticon rather than an unaffiliated free agent. The first such new version of Lockdown was introduced in the live-action movie universe in 2010, with the release of a new figure in the Revenge of the Fallen toy line. Just like his animated counterpart, this Lockdown had a rivalry with the movieverse version of Ratchet, and in homage to the animated toys, the Revenge of the Fallen Ratchet figure came with an EMP blaster that could be removed and attached to Lockdown. This Lockdown enjoyed some appearances in comic books and video games, with a prominent role in the Dark of the Moon game for Nintendo DS, but his most significant appearance was probably the Cyber Mission series of online animated shorts, which showcased his rivalry with Ratchet and saw him steal the medic's EMP blaster, only for Ratchet to take it back with a little help from Sideswipe. Also in 2010, Lockdown was incorporated into the world of IDW Publishing's comic books, when he debuted in the pages of the Transformers Drift miniseries with a look based on the Revenge of the Fallen toy. The series saw Lockdown team with a crew of alien slavers to track down and apprehend the turncoat Decepticon Drift for Megatron, only to be foiled when he and his allies were outnumbered and defeated by Drift's new comrades, the Circle of Light. In later years, Lockdown was hired by the Autobots insane Chief Justice Tyrist to hunt down the gigantic city spaceship transformers known as the Titans so he could harness their technology. This mission led Lockdown and his team of Titan Hunters into conflict with the crew of the starship Lost Light, who put a stop to Tyrist's plan. 
Lockdown hit the big screen in the 2014 live-action movie Age of Extinction. Though his Lamborghini Aventador alternate mode made him quite different in appearance from the original Lockdown, he was still loaded with weapons like his hand hook and a huge head-mounted gun, and in terms of personality he was definitely still the same cold, unaligned, business-oriented bounty hunter who considered himself above the Autobot-Decepticon conflict. Lockdown had been hired by the Transformers' mysterious alien creators to capture Optimus Prime, and he allied with CIA agent Harold Attinger and his Strike Force Cemetery Wind to accomplish this goal. Hunting down and killing the Autobots one by one, he successfully flushed Optimus out of hiding and imprisoned him aboard his ship, but the surviving Autobots were able to rescue their leader just before Lockdown departed Earth. Discovering that his prisoner was no longer aboard, Lockdown quickly returned to Earth, where Prime, aided by human allies of his own, defeated and destroyed the bounty hunter in a final showdown. As the villain of the movie, Lockdown had multiple action figures and featured in several pieces of tie-in media, though none of it really made any effort to reconcile this Lockdown with the pre-existing live-action movie version of the character, even though they were both based on the original animated character concept. Perhaps his most notable ancillary media appearance was in the Japanese Q Transformers toy line and cartoon, a super deformed fourth wall breaking comedy series in which he hung out at highway service stations with Bumblebee and Optimus Prime and talked about the history of terrible video games. In subsequent years, Lockdown has also featured in mobile games like Transformers Earth Wars, in the Aligned continuity via the Japanese Transformers Adventure toy line, which recolored his original animated figure into Age of Extinction inspired colors, and most recently he's returned to TV screens in the Transformers Cyberverse animated series. Cyberverse Lockdown is probably the most different version of the character. Rather than a menacing bounty hunter, he's a low-ranking Decepticon goon who hangs out with fellow mook Clobber. When Lockdown took his first bow in the early days of Transformers Animated, fans quickly took a liking to him, but nobody could have predicted the meteoric rise to fame that would lead to him becoming the arch-villain of a mega-budget movie only six years later. While his affiliation and profession might change as he continues to appear in new stories, there's no doubting that Lockdown is a bot who sunk his hook into the heart of Transformers fandom. And those are the basics on Lockdown. If you could do what he does and steal a power or a weapon from any Transformer, let me know in the comments what you'd take. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and if you can, please consider supporting the basics on Patreon.